So here we have a Maxus E-Deliver 3 electric van. It's also called an EV30 in other markets. And what I'm going to look at today is whether you can run the heater while it's still connected to your charger. So I made a recent video on these vans about winter range and these vans do not have preconditioning and someone commented on that video and asked can you run the van and manually precondition it as it were so can you get in the van um, and put the heating on while it's still connected to your wall charger so the power comes from your house to warm the vehicle up initially before you set off. So. I thought I will make a video on this because uh, I do get asked those sort of questions quite a bit um, and I thought I'd try it because I've never done it myself but I do know what the answer is going to be but anyway let's put the ignition on and let's try to start the vehicle and the vehicle is not starting we've got no green ready light and that is because it is still connected to the wall charger and the cables in the front and that's what happens on all electric vehicles. You you cannot drive if you're still connected to the cable because obviously you don't want to pull away and rip the cable out the front of your vehicle or rip the wall charger off your house. So in this scenario, when the green light's not on, you would sort of assume that you're just sitting here with the 12 volt battery engaged and uh, consuming 12 volt battery, just like you would with the first position on the ignition switch in an ICE vehicle. And at the moment, my heated seat is on and it is getting warm. So things are working. However, it is quite clear on this fan, the traction battery is engaged because if I put the heater on, that is now running. And the heater, I'm pretty sure is high voltage, is not 12 volt. And that is now producing heat. So, quite clearly it is working but of course we're not drawing power from the house the charger over there I can see on the post is still switched off so in this case it looks like the high voltage battery is engaged we're heating the vehicle but of course we're not gaining anything here because we're drawing the power from the traction battery and we're not pulling it in from the house so um, we're not gaining anything at all here we are going to obviously consume energy from the battery if we just sat here warming up the cabin so we might as well have disconnected the cable and just started moving as it were the heater on these are is instant you get heat within three or four seconds and it is very hot unless you push the eco button there which i'm going to do because it's just too hot it is very quick so there's the uh even if it's cold and icy um the cabin gets up to temperature within about a minute or so it's incredibly quick on these vans so um, it's no biggie that there isn't preconditioning on these because um, you can pretty much set off within a, a minute or so even if it's really icy um, I've done a video on it before I can't remember exactly how long it takes but I think within two minutes the ice will be melted off the windows certainly enough to swipe the wipers um, but anyway a video about that is on the channel if you want to see that so uh, yeah in this case obviously like all EVs you cannot start the vehicle or you certainly can't pull away if you've got a cable connected a charge cable um, in this case you can't even switch it on or get to the ready state which is pretty much the same on all vehicles but quite clearly the high voltage battery is engaged so it's effectively sitting here running it's just it's not going to allow you to select a gear or move so if I just turn it off and then listen there I heard a clunk in the back which is the contactors in the battery pack so that shows that the high voltage traction battery was engaged delivering power and then when I turned it off you heard the contactors go clunk as it turned off the high voltage battery so that's it short sweet video this one it was just to answer that question can you switch on the van run the heater while you're drawing power from the house and the answer is no so if you want to know more about these vans the maxus e deliver 3 i've got a link in the video description below to a playlist and you can see other videos i made on this van and more videos are coming there's quite a few videos stacked up actually 
Um, so yeah, if you found this one useful, please do click the thumbs up button as always, it really does help. Uh, also subscribing as well, that really does help as well. And I'll see you on another video. So it's now later on in the day and I've just got back from driving this van. And I thought I'd do another test on this um, heater issue and drawing power from the charger. So this morning when I filmed this video, the traction battery was full because it charged overnight on cheap rate electricity and then it was sat there dormant in the early hours, uh, early hours of the morning because the vehicle was charged. So then in the morning when I switched it on and put the heater on, the heater did run off the traction battery but it didn't pull any charge from the um, wall charger, wall box in this case from the house because the battery was already full. So I thought I'll try it again when the battery isn't full. So the battery has lost about 25% charge and I've just come back for a journey. I've taken the schedule out of my wall charger so we're at peak rate electricity now and the van is charging. You can see it's charging because we've got a flashing uh, pump symbol there on the dash and on my mobile here I've also got my two wall chargers there and the, t the lower one which I'm connected to says charging so currently we are charging at 32 amp. So let's try the same test again, put my foot on the brake, I'm going to try to start the vehicle and the vehicle won't start as you would expect because it is plugged in obviously and charging and we can see there we've got the battery gauge and yeah I've lost um, well, we're, we've got about 20% left to put back in, which I can see here. I've got a state of charge. So the battery's currently at 70% state of charge. So, like before, I'm going to put the heat on and put it on. Wow, that's hot. Um, that's instant heat out of these heaters. So that heater is now working, yet the vehicle is still charging. Uh, which I'm surprised it's doing that. So the traction battery is engaged. I thought this wasn't going to work like that. Uh, not all EVs do this. Well, to be honest, I think a lot of them don't do this. Anyway, so in this scenario, if your vehicle is already charging, you can manually precondition it. So we're using power because we've got the heater on, but we're also putting power back into the battery at the same time. So effectively, it's coming from the house. But in the morning, you're likely to get in your van when you want preconditioning, and the vehicle's already charged because it's charged overnight. And in those cases, it isn't going to do this because as soon as you switch on your vehicle, the battery is already at 100%, so it's not going to enable the charging and you're not gonna get this set up. Um, some vehicles, when you switch it on in the morning, it will initially switch on the charging and then say, oh no, we're at 100%, don't need any more, and turn off again in 30 seconds or so. But it wasn't doing that this morning. It wouldn't switch on the charge at all, and I had also removed the scheduling, by the way, as well, because I've got um, 12.30 to 4.30 scheduling set up in the chargers, but I had removed that before I did the filming this morning. So. Um, so the answer is, if you want to do manual preconditioning, you can't have a full battery pack. So the reality is you're not going to be able to do it because every time in the morning you're going to generally have a full battery. So therefore there's not going to be any capacity for the charging to start and you're not going to be able to do what I'm doing now, running the heater and all the power coming from, well, the power coming from the house. Okay, I hope that helps. Oh, this is getting way too hot. Even in eco mode, these heaters are just too hot. So anyway, that's the real end of the video now. Okie doke, bye then.